If you think from the very beginning of Freddie and Mary, Mary was the one who had a job. <laughs> so when they actually started living together, a lot more pressure was put on Mary than on Freddie. But I mean, she accepted this was part of living with Freddie. Of course he contributed as and when he could. But basically, Mary took care of the bills. She loved him, she took care of him. Between Freddie and Mary goes well beyond the normal conception of love. Yes, they loved each other, but it was a real deep love that in fact was based on trust. They were constantly in communication. They would call each other four, five, six times a day if they didn't see each other because Freddie needed Mary as that rock to keep him grounded, to keep him, you know, at ease. Il 13 luglio 1985 i Queen infiammano il mondo con la loro esibizione al Live Aid. È il momento più alto della loro carriera. Si mettono a lavorare a un nuovo album, A Kind of Magic, che esce l'anno dopo, seguito da un tour mondiale che fa il tutto esaurito. 